What's up, you fat bastards? Uh, Zap here, and I got some Killzone 3 gameplay with you guys. For you guys, not with you guys. Some Killzone 3 gameplay for you guys, along with some commentary on top. Uh, or sprinkles. Um, the topic of today's commentary is YouTube commentary. Because I get a lot of questions from you guys out there. It's usually guys who um, are just starting out their YouTube commentary videos. They want to know how they can make commentaries interesting for the viewers how they can attract more people and the best piece of advice I can give you is just to be genuine with your commentary whether you're doing post game commentary or live commentary which I think live commentary is actually the easiest to do in my opinion uh, the reason why I say that is because your reactions are just going to be natural to what's going on on the screen so uh, you know you don't have to think twice about what's what's going to be on your video whatever you said is on your video Unless you're a racist fuck and you scream out the n-word or Jew or some shit like that. Then you might have to think twice about using that commentary. But, um, yeah, you know, um, if you just be yourself, everybody out there will understand that. They'll pick up on that and then they'll enjoy your shit. Uh, case in point is my Mortal Kombat videos. I was playing the game, playing ranked, playing player matches, didn't really matter. And as I was playing, my true feelings were coming out. <laughs> I was raging. I was just showing a lot of emotion. And the funny thing is, rather than get a whole bunch of hate mail saying, dude, you suck. Stop crying all the time. Uh, which I did get some of that, you know. Uh, but for the most part, it was people saying, um, you know what, Zap? I completely agree. Uh, or, you know, now I don't feel as bad about raging because, you know, you rage too. That's, that's what I'm talking about. If you can build a fucking connection with your viewers while being genuine, then you've already fucking, you've already got this thing down. You don't even have to do anything else. Just be yourself on the microphone when you're playing. You know, have fun with your games. Uh, you got to make sure you talk, you know, and just do you. Um, but another key component is just being overall entertaining. Uh, you can't force it. You know, you just have to naturally have some sort of humor about you that's going to attract someone. Uh, you're not going to be able to capture everyone. Um, like, for the most part, I think, I don't really think my commentary, <laughs> like, let's be honest. I don't really think my commentary attracts the African-American audience I have. <laughs> because, let's face it, I don't use a whole lot of slang, and I don't really sound black despite the fact that I am. However, I think one of the main reasons why I get um, so many African American uh, viewers is because of the fact that I showed myself on camera as an African American. Like, otherwise, people wouldn't even know I was fucking black. And you guys are probably looking like, what? You're black? I didn't know. I haven't seen any of your vlogs. Yeah, whatever. The point is, you're not going to be able to capture every demographic. You're not going to capture every uh, everybody's personality, everybody's taste um, in your commentaries. So if you just be yourself, you'll pull in the demographic that works best for you. That way, instead of having to add shit to your commentary or take away shit from your commentary to better suit this demographic, you can just be comfortable with yourself, have good, natural, wholesome commentary that you know all your current fans are going to enjoy you know <clears throat> so let's say I'm going to give you guys an example let's say um, I try to do more slang more um, more of an urban type of commentary uh, just to attract my my African American viewers or my ghetto viewers you know what I'm saying uh, let's say I try to do a commentary like that well the black guys and shit, they might come in, you know, the essays too, they might come in and be like, yo, this shit, this motherfucker here, yo, he gangster, son, he a G. But my, my, my uh, conservative uh, white viewers might be like, oh, Zappa, I don't know about this guy. Uh, there's something not quite right about this one. I think I'm going to pass. Unsubscribe, you know? I'm going to completely alienate one one of my, my subgroups for another, and I don't want to do that. But I think the way my commentary works out is, uh, 
it, it, it appeals to everyone. My commentary appeals to everyone. So, uh, except women. I don't think my commentary. <laughs> I don't think my commentary is really too uh, female friendly. So, uh, yeah, I'll take it with a grain of salt. Uh, you're, mo most of you are fat anyway. I don't want nothing to do. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with you fat chicks. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, fat girls need love too. But anyway, um, yeah, just uh, being, just having natural commentary is just the best way to go. Um, like I know for a fact that I'm not, I'm not the type of person to sit there and give commentaries about you know the best strategies to take on certain maps, what guns work in which situations, so on and so forth. I just play the damn game. Whatever pops out of my mouth while I'm playing, it gets uploaded to YouTube. And that's just the end of it. And God damn, I committed suicide. But it was worth that 200 points. Cha-ching. But, um, yeah, man. Um, just being yourself in your commentaries is always the best way to go. Uh, one thing you want to do, though, is try not to talk very monotone the whole time. Um... I don't know, just sitting there being like, yo, what's up guys, this is so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, I got a Call of Duty commentary for you guys, and I'm running with the, the ACR uh, silence, and my perks are suck my dick, blow my cock, and squeeze my ass. You know, I, like, no one wants to sit there and listen to that, except for the last bit. I think I think I would actually listen to that. That was kind of, that was kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, no one wants to listen to a dry monotone voice the whole fucking time they're watching a the video. So, <clears throat> ooh, I stole that kill. Like, Motherfucker, dude, this is weak. But, um, you know, have a little bit of life in your voice. Let the tone in your voice change. I think a lot of you guys out there are scared to change the tone in your voice because, you know, your voice might crack because, you know, puberty still hasn't really passed you by yet. So, it's okay. It's alright. But... You know, just uh, just do what you do, and uh, everything will come come naturally. Don't worry about attracting a specific audience. Like I said, just just do your commentaries naturally. The people will come and they will enjoy your shit. You know, uh, you kind of you kind of want to diversify. You want to mix it up too. Um, you can't just do the whole. Let me let me let me go ahead and give you guys an example. For a while, my commentaries were strictly, you know, grab grab about four or five of my buddies, play some ranked matches and whatever the fuck we were going to do, and let the commentary be like, you know, semi-game battles type, you know, where we're ca making call-outs and stuff like that. That was basically what my commentary was. But then I, I would get to the point where I don't even want to watch my videos anymore because it's starting to feel like the same thing over and over and over and over and over again for like three years so I was just like fuck it I'm gonna just go ahead and you know play by myself and see where that goes and when I play by myself I'm way more open I'm way more uh, I'm, more, I'm more myself in my commentaries you know so that worked out for me and then eventually I just incorporated that mindset into my uh, my live commentaries with my friends and it, that was a wrap um really though I hope I hope this is actually getting to some of you guys you know because uh I don't want you guys to go away from this video and not still know what to fucking do with yourself um uh, if you guys have any other questions feel free to leave them in the uh comment section below I'll gladly answer you guys' uh questions deeper into uh it deeper I don't know I'll do what I can for you guys. You know, I'm just trying to help. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to play some SOCOM tomorrow. And hopefully that video will be uploaded Saturday. So thank you guys for watching and peace.